my name is Lindy Cowling. Welcome to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk. Email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. This video this evening is going to be called When Timelines Collide or when the soul or when twin flames remember past lives together. Now as you know mine is an experiential channel which means I share from personal experience or from directly working with clients, international clients. And I speak here from absolute total personal experience. Many people find it, well, they find it either comforting to have the memory of other timelines or other lives with a soul that they're connected with, with a soul mate, a twin flame, a soul catalyst, whatever category you want to put that in. But just as many find it very distressing, especially if it's at a spiritual level, such as, for example, Twin Flame Union. And they find it distressing because when there is permanent or temporary separation with an aspect of your soul's consciousness within another human body, another human vehicle. People find that distressing because they have sometimes, not always, not all twin flames do have the memory of other timelines or incarnations or the awareness of it, but sometimes when this happens, uh, people have the memory, the memories of all or some of those lives. And they will also remember experiences that they had in all or some of those lives. And they will remember when they had to come apart or there was the death of one or both of them in all or some of those lives. And they will remember the devastation that they felt then. Now there was a, a mindset not many years ago that, that this couldn't be remembered or couldn't be felt or that um, it was being misinterpreted and all I can say is having directly experienced this not only did we experience that and have the full knowing on those lives at the same time and it was like as we needed to have a realization or learn something or shift then another life would come to our awareness so I think we got up to about five or six and I know there was more but then we parted and so we didn't get any further than that not only did we have the awareness of it but we were able to morph physically to it so let me repeat that it wasn't just in front of one another, this could be seen. And in fact, I was talking to somebody else who, yes, who, who was um, a medium, I, I, I admit, they were a medium, so they, they were able to perceive on other levels anyway. And I was talking about something to them at the time, and I actually morphed in front of them. So it was, what I'm, the point I'm making here is other people could see it. They could see the shifting to the personality and aspects of the other timeline and, and looking like that perception, that part of the soul. Now what I'm going to say here is what I, what I believe now, what I truly feel now, is that it's because um, Twin Flame Union is the aspects of a couple of aspects, a couple of expressions of the essence of soul within two human vehicles. I feel really what's happening there is when there's all these other knowledge of other timelines, I don't feel it's necessary that those two individuals 
live those timelines, but their soul as a whole expression did. So what do I mean? I mean the soul can have multi-dimensional experiences at the same time, and I feel that you know the soul is the soul, the complete soul has um, a recorded history, if you like, recollection of all that's going on in the multi-dimensional timelines at the same time. And so that was some of the awareness that came to us, so that there could have been other aspects of our overall or overall soul's expression carrying out those activities in other timelines, but we, but it was us as well. Do you see what I mean? If it's if it's if it's an overall expression of soul consciousness in different human form in different timelines simultaneously across time at the same time, we we would have or we're starting to get the awareness of all. So some of those expressions, or maybe even you know, other ways our soul was expressing those timelines at the same time. Now, when we were going through that, it was most exhilarating, but also very, very distressing, because we had the memory of, very powerful memories of some of those lives. My connection, one in particular, was devastated, where um, I was his Indian girl, and he lost me as a shaman. Uh, I think I think the equivalent description would be a tidal wave nowadays. But um, I was down by the river, and the river rose up very quickly. I was with our son Thomas, son, and uh, I was lost in the river, and uh, Thomason's body was never found. Uh, my shaman uh, husband was not there at the time and was away for three days and so it was three days um, before he got back and found out that his son was gone and I was I had died and uh, my connection went through immense grief and grieving over this as if it had happened all over again or was still happening which we had to work through and that was probably one of our key most powerful lives and we went through immense amount of clearing and having to sort out that. And we could morph spontaneously. You know, his whole face shape would change. So would mine when we were talking about this with one another. But like I say, there were various witnesses, two different energy things between us over the years. So it's not, you know, it's not all in our head or in my head. Um... Another example I can give you, Johnny and Kathy, Johnny Boy and Kathy, 1930s Boston, very clear memories, very clear awareness, very, very dubious, dark kind of life there, which ended in tragedy. Uh, when my connection morphed to that, very, very different feeling, um, very exhilarating, but also there was a, that element of danger there as well. Very powerful life as well, and we could feel it, feel it as strongly as we were feeling this life, why we were morphing like that, linking in like that. Um, another important point that I'm going to make, which I don't think I've ever said on camera before, is there was recognition of some of the soul families um, in those timelines. So um, his mother murdered me in one of our recollections. It was all dark art stuff. My mother took him from me as a baby in another one. And uh, his present day wife was involved in, I think it was two or three of those memories, which was absolutely excruciating because he was with that wife in this timeline. And I had the full recollection and memory of what happened before and that he 
turned away from his opportunity in other timelines to come into his divinity then so it was like reliving it so the reason I'm using these as an example is because it's not often talked about side of it and I know what I experienced and not only did we experience that I mean I've spoke about this numerous times on radio and things before we actually even time slipped only for a couple of minutes in an English pub but we time slipped to Johnny Boy and Kathy Boy's 1930s life in Boston in an English pub I mean the whole shebang the whole thing morphed it was like one of those you know diners in America uh, it was just extraordinary the whole thing was surreal very very powerful so those are the kind of um, amazing metaphysical things that can be there and of course you can understand why people would find this as excruciating if they have those memories there and those feelings there and they can actually morph to these things when on that level um, there is separation or permanent or temporary loss in the in this timeline of one another um, how devastating that would be because there is it's like you take the hit for the, the whole entire soul really every recorded memory of loss in the soul every recorded memory of that uh, after a while after a long while actually that becomes easier um, there are two ways it can go you can either go back into that kind of divine amnesia on it or you can go through your process and then as you go through your process it becomes more peaceful anyway because as you transition more into your heart um, it becomes far less painful and far more peaceful and I should also say that um, because I've been for 16 years able to do past life regression anyway I mean I can see now when I look back on my training and life that everything was leading up to the last few years really um, I am able to spot in other people what I call bleed through lives when they've got a past life that's very uh, close to the surface or a timeline very close there that is leaking into and affecting this one and so that that is not the that main connection was the main one it happened with but you know I, I connected with the catalyst and uh, we had definitely been um, husband and wife in Ireland um, definitely connected in Ireland before now no surprises here because if you've had past life or you've got timeline history with catalysts um, anyone on that kind of level of course the impact is going to be deeper and stronger um, because you've got recall there, recognition there, soul recognition there, you know, and all those different levels. So it is going to be that much more powerful. It is going to trigger that much more deeply. It is going to come about. It's going to be more of a roller coaster. It's going to be more healing. It's going to be more transformation would be the word I would use. So, I mean, it is a fascinating thing. And... You know, I didn't even know such a thing was possible until it happened to me. I know there are people out there that um, have done and do research on how that kind of thing can also happen in um, in a setup experience where you know negatively. Um, scenarios have been brought about, and there are false memories implanted to bring about an interaction between the two I don't really go down that route and I'm not at all saying that's not possible because that could be possible of course it could be possible I'm totally open to that um, open-minded about that what I would say is I'm going to lean on the side of the experience being a transformation anyway regardless of whatever root people come at from that um, whatever way they come into it um, we we always have the option in life whether to detract or expand 
we always have that choice. The, the soul always cries out for expansion. Many of us attempt to detract and retreat uh, simply because we've been hurt or we're afraid or we don't want to make changes and all of those kind of things and lots and lots of different layers. So that the soul will always guide you to expand. And, you know, it's important again for me to say that uh, as people are opening up now with different states of awareness, it, I feel it's going to be more commonplace anyway for people to have not only spiritual and soul recognition, but to have recall perhaps of experiences. I, I personally feel that that recall is beneficial if it's helping. It's helping heal that timeline or it's helping, you know, helping in the current present day process. Well, of course, everything is present day. You know, all the timelines, all the, everything is rushing, rushing together to that infinite, you know, now moment. Uh, Personally, I feel it's beneficial, but I, I don't feel, you know, digging around in those timelines um, unless there's an overall purpose to it. Like you can use the skills from the timelines in this infinite moment now or healing needs to be done there. But, you know, I just thought I'd bring this up because it's, it's an interesting one and it's um, something I've definitely personally experienced, which was a powerful, hugely powerful part of my experience um, for us to have full recall on that. Not only full recall on that, but we also had the knowing on where our timeline had the potential to go and was, um, you know, supposed to go. So for us, we... We knew within a, a time scale, if it were on track, you know, that we would, what we would be doing, we would be um, having a spiritual ceremony on Mount Shasta. Uh, you would call it a form of marriage, um, you know, but those, obviously, those things didn't come to pass um, for various reasons, which I've kind of um, discussed in previous videos. So it's just interesting stuff. And certainly it's a phenomena I've experienced and certainly it's a phenomena that other people um, experience to various degrees. Some have vague awareness. Not everybody has awareness of that at all, but certainly some people do. Anyway, on that note, I would love you and leave you. Um, hope that made sense. Hope that helped. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for resonating. Bye.